Hello again, art friends. Um, I'm a little behind on my video production schedule, but I finally got around to making the video for Umbra, my latest uh, Space Maiden painting. Um, I, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say it, but for those of you that are new, I'm a huge science and science fiction fan, um, especially black holes. I watch a lot of um, YouTube videos uh, about the study of black holes and I've been fascinated with them really since I saw the uh, old old Disney movie uh, Black Holes. I think that's what the title is. Anyway, um, it's a really old Disney movie, really uh, pretty bad but you know kind of cool in, uh, in, in a retro way. For for space geeks it's, it's pretty iconic. Anyway, um, I, I, I felt like I had to do a uh, black hole painting for this series and in, in watching a lot of videos on it I was actually pretty um, pretty surprised that they're studying black holes here on earth with something as simple as water um, you know scientists get uh, not necessarily a bum rap but they have this uh, reputation for being you know very factual very numbers based and and maybe not too creative but actually I, I have to give them credit because they come up with some very interesting ways of studying things that are very difficult to study uh, here on earth uh, for example black holes incredibly dangerous to to study from up close um, very difficult to to find um, and to observe but they, they have found that there are a lot of similarities between a black hole and a tub full of water when you pull the drain. Once the water gets to a certain point, it acts very much like uh, anything when it gets uh, into the event horizon of a black hole. It can't, it can't escape. It, it, it has to go into the black hole or you know in the case of a tub filled with water that the water has to go down the drain um, once it gets to that threshold so anyway they put a lot of you know thought and a lot of science into it that I, I can't replicate but anyway like I said I've, I've been fascinated with them for a long time um, you know are they are they survivable can you go in and survive a black hole uh, is there something on the other side? Is there another universe? Is that a big bang happening on the other side? No one really knows. Um, as far as the painting goes, <laughs> maybe I should talk a little bit about the painting. Um, the, the, the pose comes from an old uh, figure sketch that I did a long time ago. I did a, a series of uh, three or four figure sketches and I kind of promised myself I would revisit them and do them in full color paintings and you know now that I'm doing this whole Space Maiden series I'm getting to, to use some of those uh, sketches. I had a lot of fun with it um, as far as the you know all that really electric um, blue um, around the around the black hole the the reflected light which I had to make up a lot of it because it wasn't in my in my original reference photos um, but I, I also tried to give you the sense or or let you think about whether she is going into the black hole is she coming out the other end of a black hole um, you know so I, I have most of her in but there are some areas of her body that are still sticking out and I'm still trying to incorporate like I did in Celestial where the the hair and the head um, where, where our mind is um, is becoming part of the um, of the universe or, or the galaxy that this picture takes place in. I'll leave it there so that you can you know draw your own conclusions from from the painting yourself. Um, I'm currently working on the next piece in the series and it's going to be a really good companion piece to this one so I'm hoping at some point I can 
exhibit them side by side. I think that would be a good uh, a good um, a good way to to show them both off and um, you know have their contrasts really play off of each other. And you know because life is not complicated enough. I'm also working on a still life painting. Um, you know because I like my studio life to be as complicated as possible. So anyway, I hope that you like it. Um, feel free to leave a comment or a question and subscribe if you're so inclined. Thank you for following along. See you next time.